How are you guys? Pretty good. Uh, That's a cool t-shirt, I think. All right. That's Captain Cap. America. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, dude. Keep keeping it in the family. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, guys, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's it's great fun. I wanted to ask you both first. I mean, you you guys have come into the series as it, as it's gone along. Is there some sort of hazing that goes on? Is there something that you guys have to do joining joining the series? Do you have to get up and sing. You know, I know in like football teams or sports teams, when you when you're new signing, you have to you have to do certain things. No, I think that's illegal now. So <laughs> you can't really quite do the hazing anymore. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I mean, I think the hazing becomes internal, like. Basically, when you're on a on a on a well oiled oiled machine the way that Jack Ryan is, like you just don't want to mess it up. And then you know the cooler it is, the more kind of pressure um, comes with it. So like, you know, I saw Jack Ryan season one, then season two, and then three hasn't come out yet. And I was like, all right, this is a really good show. I just don't want to mess it up. So in that way, it was like in hazing, but it was internally. That's good. We did have jam sessions where we would sing in front of each other. Yeah, but that wasn't part of the. Hazing it was process. no hazing. There was no judgment. It was yeah. all all in good fun. Yeah. yeah. There's an album potentially down the down the line for for you two then. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know about that, man. <laughs> like it was like. It's like, purely for private use only. Yeah, I remember yeah. jamming, and I was like, yeah. I was playing the drums yeah, yeah. and some of the bass, and yeah, then yeah. people would just leave. I was like, oh, yeah. what kind of jam session this is? Like, okay. They weren't really dedicated. It'd be hard to form a band when uh -huh, they're like, uh -huh. sorry, I got to take this. Sorry, this yeah, I got to yeah. oh, tweet about this. <laughs> yeah, oh, let's make it happen. Who cares? Let's yeah, just do it. Let's do it, dude. <laughs> um, and it's a show. I mean, the show obviously is, is coming coming to an end, but it's a show that's really had a, an impact on so many people. Now you've been in the show. Can you see, as you were saying before, about how well ordered it is and all that kind of stuff? just why it's been so successful and people have really kind of taken to a character that's been around for a long time in this new, in this new guise. I mean, it's Jack Ryan. Uh, it's John Krasinski. It's Wendell Pierce, uh, Mike Kelly. And now it's Mike Pena and Louis Ozawa. Um, you know, we're taking it into 2023. We're in a new world now. We've had, um, you know, this is, uh, we talk about convergence. I think I can talk about this. It's, uh, you know, it's not just about the drug cartels. It's not just about terrorism. It's these two coming together. And that's a frightening combination. And it's also lends itself to lots of intrigue and excitement and drama. And I think people will definitely enjoy that. Yeah, I mean, for me, it was like, it, it's, it's, it's interesting because like you're, you're following Jack Ryan, you really are, you know, and he's, He's just a, a, a like a good guy that does just just does, like hates injustice. You know what I mean? He just doesn't like, you know. He he roots for the little guy all the time. You know, and and he's like an unlikely hero. But I think the way that John plays it, to be honest with you, I think it's it fits his personality and who he is pretty well. And so you're able to jump along and on on the ride that he's providing. Um, and then obviously the storylines kind of fit him pretty well. And so. Um, and then you look at the, the surrounding characters and they all, they all have very specific purposes. And then, you know, to be honest with you, the bad guys are really good. You know, like I remember in season one, that guy was amazing. And, but, Suma, you, right? yeah, yeah, but you understood, the, the thing is, is that you understood his motivation. You understood why he became who he was. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. so like, okay, yeah, he's doing this. I kind of get it though. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like what would happen if something like that happened to me? Like. Yeah. I wouldn't be a happy-go-lucky guy, you know, right. a camper, whatever. Yeah. So you understand their motivation, yeah. and then so you see where the conflict, right. um, you know, why it exists. There's no good and bad people, bad guys necessarily, you know. Well, there I, are some bad guys. There, there are, like but killing, I mean, killing innocent people. But he, like, even, <laughs> even, but even in season four, by the time you get Jack Ryan in season four, his hand, he was squeaky clean in first season at the top of first season. And now it's four years later and, you know, yeah. there, there have been things that have happened. Um, um, and I think that makes it even more interesting, you know, and, and similarly, when when they presented this project to me, um, you know, they talked about going back, coming around full circle to the first season. And so I think fans of the first season will see kind of the, the, the lineage and see some of the kind of intrigue, especially in the in the antagonist. Uh, guys, I wish I had more time, but that's my time up. Thank you so much for your oh, time. Right on, Pleasure. right on. Thanks so much. I forgot it. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys.